Hey there. So today I'm just going to show you a few of the yard sale and thrift store finds that I've done over the past two weeks. I know I didn't shoot a video last weekend. There wasn't a whole lot of yard sales, so I combined these past two weekends into one. So let me just get started. Uh, first thing is the HGTV magazine, and that came from Walmart. And this is the July-August issue, which makes me kind of sad because it means next month there's not going to be one. But I can't wait to get into that. Um, next I have a shirt I picked up at a thrift store, and this is an Old Navy sweatshirt, and it just says hello there, and I thought this would be great in the fall and winter, um, especially like my husband and I just joined a new gym, so like, you know, you always want to have cute outfits after you're done working out, you know, so, and I paid $2.99 for that. Uh, next item came from Salvation Army. And this is an Ann Taylor Loft, and I think it's supposed to be a scarf, but due to the size of it, I'm probably going to use it more like a throw to toss over like a chair or a couch or something, because it's more like blanket sized. I was going to use it as a blanket for my dogs, but it's a dry clean only, so I don't know if that's going to be the greatest idea. But I liked the colors of it, and I liked the fringe on the end of it. It just seemed like really summery and pretty. And that was $2.99. Um, next up are some pillows I picked up at a yard sale. Um, we went to some town-wide yard sales yesterday. They also were not actually that great. We happened to see one that wasn't part of the town-wide sale on the way back and stopped there. And I picked up three things that were actually okay. Um, so I have two of these little pillows. And these are from Ralph Lauren. And at first I thought they were snowflakes, so I was going to pass on them, but actually they're stars. So I think I could use them year-round. In the winter I could use it kind of as like a star, or you may pass it off as a snowflake, but in the summer it could be like starfish. And I needed something small to go on the bed, because I felt like the ones I had were, that I made were too big. Um, so hopefully these will work out, and I'm almost done with putting the bedroom together. That's one of the things with like thrifting, it's hard sometimes because... You want a room to be done, but you want it like it has to come together naturally. So I've been looking for a headboard, and I'm just having no luck. But once I get that all put together, and I get a headboard, hopefully, I will also just do a quick tour of the room to show you how I've updated it for summer. Uh, and if I don't find a headboard within a month or so, I'll just do a tour anyways with what I have now. So I picked up two of those at a dollar a piece. At that same sale, I picked up this little appetizer plate from Threshold, which is Target, and this was also a dollar. And little things like this I use around Christmas time, obviously. Um, I either, you know, throw it in the bathroom, you can put some uh, your jewelry in it, or sometimes I put them on my desk at work, and then when I empty out my bag, I put like my lip gloss and hand cream on it. Um, last weekend I went to a yard sale type thing. It was a store that was kind of like um, clearing out their inventory and they had these. And this is a NYX palette and it's uh, hot jersey, leopard, couture. Basically it's just like eyeshadows, lip glosses, things like that. Um, I picked up three of these for a dollar each to resell on eBay because this isn't really my thing. I'm more of like just a uh, lip gloss and mascara girl. I usually don't even wear foundation. Um, now nail polish is another story. Nail polish, I I won't even go there. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I picked up these for a dollar a piece to resell because I know they're a good deal. Um, Alright, next I'll go to this thing here. And I picked this up at a consignment shop around town. It's the one I'm always talking about. And this is actually like an old... Uh, power line insulator and there's a story behind this my husband and I have this trail we walk on near our house it's an old canal and they can, the city's converted it into like a walking biking path whatever and it's about I don't know maybe two miles long or so um, and it's still got all like old telephone poles in there and some of them have these on them and every time I see them I'm like oh I want one I wish I knew how to get one down you know, but I mean, obviously, I'm not going to climb a telephone pole in the middle of the woods because that would be a bad, bad idea. So, anyways, I found these in her store. She was only asking $2, so now I have one and I have it safely. 
in that same little consignment store, I also picked up some Victoria's Secret Pink Dogs. Um, I picked up six total. And these I'm really not sure what I'm doing with yet either. I want to kind of put them out in my closet, but then I also thought maybe sell them or my niece. This one I'm giving to my mother-in-law, and it's a bright orange. It's velvet. There's one that's a bright green velvet. Uh, this one here is just white with all kinds of like graffiti writing. Uh, love me and your dreams. Love pink. Just all kinds of stuff. There's this one that's like a navy blue with just white logo on it. And this one here. I bought this because I thought it was like a 4th of July type one. It would be cool. And then when I got in the car and I flipped it over, I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm in New York, so New York Yankees is a good thing to, you know, it's not a, not a bad thing. But I was going more for 4th of July. And then the last one is this striped one with a little boat pink thing on it. And a lot of these still have their tags or their price stickers on them. So, you know, what I'll do, the way I usually decide what I'm selling or what, I will put it, like, like in my closet or something like that. And if I don't use it within, like, two weeks, I'm obviously not going to do anything with it. So then I'll, I'll pass it on. And I'm getting down to the last few items here. Um, I went to a moving sale last weekend. And the prices there were amazing. I got an air freshener, which I don't have with me because I took it to my desk. It was like one of those wallflower ones, and that was a dollar. I picked up this tiny mortar and pestle set, and that was also a dollar. And I bought this for the kitchen. I bought this for the kitchen, too. I'm planning to do like a redo, um, just like paint and like decorations and stuff. Not like cabinets or countertops or any of that, because I'm happy with all that stuff. Um, but I just want to give it like a little bit of freshening up with paint. So I'm trying to pick up little things like this to make like a little display on a shelf. Um, so right now it's just, it's all envisioned in my head. Once I pick up the shelf, hopefully I'll start to like put it together and it'll come together better. The next thing I picked up at that little moving sale were these Christmas geese. And there is one big one and then there's three little ones. And I bought it mainly for the little ones because I thought they were adorable. But the fact that there's three of them, I thought it would be a cool thing for like, I have one, I give one to my mom at Christmas time, and then I give one to my grandma also. And I thought it would be just kind of cool that we all have like, sentimental, you know, like we all have the same little thing in a little display in our house somewhere. And it's kind of like just a, like I said, sentimental. Um, next thing I'll show you is some dishes that I picked up some from Salvation Army. And I picked these up mainly because of this bowl. I thought it'd be cute to hold jewelry. And it's called Staffordshire Bouquet by Johnson Brothers, and it's Ironstone. But I thought the design was so pretty. It's like white, and then it's got like the flowers are outlined in brown, but then they're filled in with almost like a watercolor of like you can see blue and pink and yellow and green. And I paid 69 cents for the bowl. I got two small plates in the same print. And I paid $1.39 for them. And then I got two larger plates also in that print. And the plates I'm not sure what I'm going to do with yet. But they were so cheap that I got them on a whim in case they were, like, valuable. Because I don't know. I mean, I don't know if Ironstone is valuable. I know, like, lots of people collect it. But mainly I wanted the bowl. But anyways, the two large plates were $1.59. So. And then I'm down to the last two things. And these are both a little bit bigger. I have this glass washboard here. And this came from that moving sale that I told you had amazing prices. I saw this leaning against their garage wall, and I was thinking, like, that's super cool. Um, and usually, I hate, first off, I hate yard sales without prices. I would rather have a price on things, because then it gives me an idea if you're reasonable or not. But this one didn't have prices, and we had already asked about the other things, and they were reasonable. So in my head, I set a limit. Like, what would I willingly pay for that? So I was like, I would go up to $10, because I thought it was cool, and it would look good in the kitchen. So then I asked them, and they said $2, so... Then I was thrilled, 
and it's just a national washboard company and there's more stuff on the back but two dollars was an awesome find and then the last piece of I guess if you can call it artwork it's like a it's a print from Walmart and I picked this up it's a Christmas print I found a few Christmas prints stuffed in on an end cap like with regular canvases um, and I know that the Christmas stuff drops drastically as soon as Christmas is over. So this one here, it's marked $28.77, but I was just on a whim. I said, you know what, let me run out to the price scanner just to see because I know things drop down after Christmas. And it was $3.77. So I picked this up for $3.77 and I'll just put it aside till next Christmas. But I liked how it has like the chalkboard look. And uh, yeah, so I thought that was a great deal too. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my finds. I always love watching other people's finds. Um, so get out there, get shopping, and uh, hope you have some great deals. Thanks for watching.